Hello and welcome to the Wired Lab video tutorials. My name is Hannah Jacobs and I am the Multimedia Analyst for the Wired Lab. In this series, I will walk you through creating digital archives and exhibitions using Omeka Classic 2.4. The content in this video is also explained in a written tutorial that you can find here or in the description below these videos. If you'd like to follow the text in this video, make sure you've turned on closed captioning. So let's begin with what is Omeka. Omeka is a web content management system for scholars, museum curators, archivists, and enthusiasts. It enables its users to structure information about physical or virtual people, places, things, and events in order to curate public digital archives and exhibitions. What is a web content management system? To paraphrase Wikipedia, it is a software system that provides authoring, collaboration, and administration functions for creating and managing content published on the web. So even if you've never heard the term, you've probably come into contact with one. WordPress is one of the most widely known content management systems. Every content management system organizes information differently, whereas WordPress was designed for blogging. Omeka was designed for organizing and presenting archival information about physical objects and cultural concepts. A simple way to understand Omeka is to compare it to a library or museum. These cultural institutions gather large quantities of materials, papers, images, videos, audio recordings, personal belongings, and more. They record important information, metadata, about each of these items. Often, a group of items is cataloged within a collection, or a group of items given by a single person, or perhaps grouped by region, culture, or time period. Then, curators create exhibits that use items drawn from one or more collections to communicate a specific narrative to the general public. Omeka works in a similar way. Items are individual objects, people, places, or events. Items can be gathered together into collections. Collections are groups of items stored together because they share a common feature, such as a type of object, creator, provenance, physical location, or other type of information. Collections and items form a digital archive in Omeka. In this example, we have a collection, the evolution of St. Peter's Basilica. This collection has a description, which tells us a little bit about the collection and the items that we will find within the collection. Let's look at an item. Here we have the Vatican obelisk. In an item, we may have a number of images that document what the object or item looks like. These images may document change over time, they may show different depictions, and they may show that object in different contexts, historical and modern. In addition, items include a range of metadata. Metadata is information about a particular item. In this case, we have a title, the Vatican Obelisk. We also have a subject and a description that provides more information about what the obelisk is. The sculptor. In the source field, we may find a number of bibliographic references for the information in the item. We might also have a publisher, in this case referring to a patron, Sixtus V one of the popes. We might also have a date and coverage which notes the spatial location of the object or item. Users draw information and visual resources from the archive to create digital exhibits. These exhibits tell a story on a particular theme, incorporating items as part of the narrative. A single item may be placed within one collection, but it can be used in multiple exhibits. 